Our mouths are full of bacteria that form a film called plaque that sticks to teeth. The bacteria and plaque start to make acid when we have sugary foods or drinks. If we don't clean away the plaque on our teeth, the acid starts to eat away at the tooth surface, making tiny holes that can get bigger and bigger. These holes are a sign of tooth decay. It can take a lot of time and money to treat tooth decay, and severely decayed teeth where the holes go deep into the teeth, which can be very painful, making it difficult for children to sleep, eat and concentrate at school. Teeth that are very badly decayed may sometimes have to be removed completely. In the UK, more than a quarter of five-year-olds suffer from tooth decay, and it's the most common reason for five to nine-year-olds being admitted to hospital. Fluoride is a mineral that prevents tooth decay. It's used in most toothpastes, but can also be added to mouth rinses, lozenges, varnishes and gels. In some parts of the world, it's even added to the water supply. We wanted to find out whether rinsing with fluoride mouth rinse would prevent tooth decay in children and teenagers. A team of researchers looked for scientific studies at the highest levels of evidence that looked at the amount of tooth decay in children and teenagers who had been asked to use a fluoride mouth rinse regularly for at least one year, and compared that to the amount of tooth decay in those who would use mouth rinse without fluoride or who did not rinse at all. We found 35 studies that helped us answer our question. These had been undertaken in schools across countries in Europe, the Americas, Australasia and Africa. We now know that supervised rinsing with fluoride mouthwash probably reduces the amount of tooth decay compared to mouth rinse without fluoride or no mouth rinse at all. On average, there was a 27% reduction in the amount of new tooth decay with a fluoride mouth rinse compared to mouth rinse without fluoride or to no rinsing. But there were no studies that looked at how effective fluoride mouthwash is in preventing tooth decay in baby teeth, so we don't yet know how well that works. But anyway, Fluoride mouthwash is not recommended for use in young children. We found little information about unwanted side effects or about how well children were able to cope with the use of mouth rinses. The evidence shows that regular supervised use of fluoride mouth rinse helps to prevent tooth decay in permanent teeth. We are the Cochrane Oral Health Group at the University of Manchester. Olport syndrome is a rare condition that affects the kidneys, the inner ear and the eyes.